welcome to this. This is the last talk we have on the resurrection from Grace Church Hansworth. And uh, we have hopefully shown that uh, even if we can't ultimately prove it, there are very good reasons, historical reasons from history and for believing Paul's statement in 1 Corinthians 15, 20, that the glorious fact is that Christ the Messiah has been raised from the dead and has become the first to a great harvest of those who have died. So I want to just, in about five or ten minutes, I want to just ask if this wonderful fact is true, what are the implications for us? Well, first of all, if Jesus has been raised from the dead, it means that Christianity is true. The resurrection means that Christianity is true. Why am I a Christian? Well, thank God it's changed my life and all the rest of it we can say. But the first reason I am a Christian is because it's true. Jesus is the true Messiah. He has been raised from the dead and he has become king over a new kingdom which started at his resurrection and which one day will be consummated when he returns. On the cross he has defeated the dark powers that kept humanity in sin and death and in bondage and he has made the way for new life for everyone in the new kingdom. So first of all, we can say, thank God we have an assurance through the resurrection that Christianity is true. Secondly, the resurrection means that our sins are forgiven. Romans 4.25 says that Jesus was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life again for our justification or was raised to life to make us right with God. You see, in the Bible, death and sin are inextricably linked. The Bible says that the soul that sins shall die. We believe that Jesus died for our sins. But in order to conquer sin, he had also to conquer the results of sin. And the last enemy is death. And Jesus being raised from the dead is the sign we can now be justified before God when we believe. When we believe, we are made right before God. And this is the tremendous assurance we have of sins forgiven, because Jesus rose from the dead. And the Bible says he is at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Thirdly, the resurrection means we can receive the Holy Spirit. I've already talked about the Holy Spirit, so I'm not going to labour this point. But Jesus said when he went away, he would not leave us on our own, but would send another helper. Someone just like himself who would be with us forever. And on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was outpoured on the church and he has been with us ever since. Because of the resurrection of Jesus and the fact he's seated at the right hand of God, he's poured the Holy Spirit out on us to reveal the living Messiah to us. And this means the Christian faith is not a set of rules. And it's not just a creed. Well, we have statements of faith of what we believe. But you see, the Christian Christianity is a living faith lived in relationship with the living God and the living Christ through the Holy Spirit. And lastly, the resurrection guarantees our own resurrection. You see, the Christian life does not end with us dying and going to heaven as a disembodied spirit. That is not medi that's medieval theology. It's not Christian theology. The Christian life means being part of God's kingdom here on earth 
and that will be consummated when Christ comes again and we all get resurrected bodies like his new body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, he has a new, a different body, a, a, a spiritual body, one which could, well, it could do all sorts of wonderful things. And the Bible assures us that we're going to have a new body like his glorious body. Why Paul can talk about the trumpet sounding and we being raised from the dead. And one day we will have a body like Jesus' resurrected body and in that day there will be no more sickness or crying or pain for the former things will have passed away and we shall be forever with the Lord. And this is the great Christian hope that we shall be part of that new creation of a new heavens and a new earth. And can I just say, what must we do to be part of that new kingdom? Well, the answer is very simple. Believe in Jesus as the Messiah. You know, Romans 10 verse 9 says, If we declare with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, then we shall be saved. Jesus is alive. He was risen from the dead on that first Easter morning. And because he lives, we shall live also if we believe in him.